Hello everyone, Preston from Zolivators here, and today we are going to be taking a look at an Otis Series 1, what do you call it, Hall Lantern. So this was a Hall Lantern used by Otis and the Series 1 lineup from, you may recognize this as it was used from the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s. This is a Hall Lantern, and you have a green diffuser here, which makes these arrows light up green whenever someone presses a button to either go up or down. Now let's take a look at the back. So now that we're looking at the back, we see that we that we have these 11 bulbs here. These all light up. These four bulbs here and these three bulbs here, they light up whenever someone presses the up lantern. When someone presses the up, what do you call it, button, I'm sorry. When someone presses the down button, these three bulbs and these bottom ones light up to indicate that you are going down. And if I flip it, we can actually see that there is a circuit board here. This circuit board primarily controls the lights, or the bulbs I should say, whenever someone presses a button, which directional button. And you can see all these letters that they have on here, DS8, R5, I do not know what those mean, but overall you can actually see Otis right there. Now let's take a look at the inside. So now that I have taken off the bezel here, you can actually see what's behind an Otis Series 1 lantern. So here is a more overview look of the diffuser. And if you could see, actually see behind the circuit board. There's four screws that you could t use to remove this actual piece off of the base. And these four screws right here at the top and bottom, they can be used to remove the circuit board. And there's two screw holes to use for the bezel piece. And as you can see, United Technologies Otis Elevator, Hall Lantern model, and it also has this vintage sticker thrown on here, which I think is a pretty nice touch. Now let's put this Otis Lantern back together. So now that the Otis Lantern is back together, now I'm gonna give my opinion about this lantern. This lantern has a pretty cool design, I have to say. Even though it may look boring, it still has a pretty cool design. I like on the fact that Otis did these arrows, like the a little bit of like a futuristic kind of design in the 80s. It still looks really nice. This lantern's from 1991, and this lantern was on a service elevator. And overall, I think Otis did a pretty good job on designing this, on designing this lantern. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of the Otis Series 1 Lantern, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching.